Hello and welcome to knowwhat4u.com Hello, my name is Amir Borstel from knowwhat4u.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own GND connection for mainly for laptops but also it can be used for uh, audio systems and uh, routers and uh, network switches um, all those devices usually lack uh, GND. GND is actually a short name for uh, ground um, from all kinds of reason uh, and this might result with uh, if you have an audio system then with noise and if you are an EHS person like me and using a laptop then with excessive uh, electric field low frequency electric field emitted from the laptop so uh, what we are going to do, we are going to take a wire, a elect electric plug, okay? By, by the way, this, this video is, uh, this tutorial is for uh, electronic personnel or electric uh, technicians who are familiar with using those and with uh, uh, connections uh, to the uh, uh, electric network and it's, it might be very dangerous. If you do a mistake, it might be very dangerous. So. If you're not an electrician or electronic personnel, then leave it to someone who is. Okay, just show him the video and ask him to do the same. Now, on one end, there will be a connection to the socket, to the electric socket. This is electric uh, plug for Israeli network. Here, this is the GND here. This is the ground. This is the, uh, this is the phase, this is the zero, and this is the uh, GND. So we don't use this, we don't use this, we use only this one. Okay, again, only for electrician personnel, electronics or electrician personnel. Uh, we will connect a simple wire, simple uh, electric wire. This wire is usually used for speakers or for uh, lamps. Uh, just one cord, a flexible cord, one end to it, of it will, should be connected to this pin inside, and the other side should be connected to the shielding of the plug that you want to connect. Now, which plug would we select? For laptops, I usually go, most people would like to go with USB because this is the most common one and most people will know. In this plug, in some of the plugs, in the better one, this is the shielding, this is the GND, okay? The metal part here is the GND. Some plugs don't have that and the way to know it is usually by testing with a DMA, with a digital multimeter, you test that this shield in here is connected to this shield in here. If it's if you see that there's a connection, then this is an okay cable to use. The what what you do with it, you you actually uh, cut it in the middle, uh, take off, uh, peel off the shielding and connect it to the wire uh, that we talked about before. The, on one side of it, and the second side is connected to the GND pin over here. Now you can do it also uh, if you want uh, to produce uh, ELF uh, noise and exposure, uh, electric field exposure from the switch or outer, you can do it also with a network cable like this. And here this is the shielding, okay, this metal, the metal part here is the shielding. So you can cut it in the middle, cut it here and, and uh, peel off the... Uh, the rubber and you will see the shielding. Uh, you can also do it with, I like to do it mostly with this. This is a VGA connector, it's all connector, my laptop has it uh, and it's usually empty, I don't use it, I use uh, um, I usually use uh, the HDMI uh, so you can use this one, cut it off, peel it off, build the rubber off, expose the shielding uh, wire and connect it to the wire we talked about. Uh, before when you're using audio system you should do it to this okay and I will show you how it's, it's really simple you just take you cut it in the middle you take a cutter you kind of put your the cutter teeth inside and then you peel it off okay now we have here two issues two wires actually inside you have, you have the yellow and this is this is the yellow okay so I will cut it, I will trim it with that it will has no wires popping out. And this is actually a GND. Okay? Now let's do like this. I need it for a system that has two connections, so uh, now we'll prepare the second one, okay? Uh, not, uh, oh, okay. 
make sure you're not cutting them together because it has, it has uh, this is the ground and this is like the signal. I'm cutting the signal, trimming the signal so there will be nothing poking out. And now I will take a plug that I made before with two wires poking out. This is the two wires that are connected to GND. Okay? And actually I don't need two wires, so I will have to open it up and show you how it looks inside. Okay? This is how it looks inside. I'm not touching the... Again, if you're not an electrician, don't do it, okay? Not an electrician, don't do it. I happen to, to know my way around electricity. So, there used to be, this connection used to be, this socket used to serve two connections, and now I will remove one of them. And now, I'll just remove it. And this is the string I have left. Let's make a double. It will take a while, don't worry. I don't know if you can see, I'll put it in. It, you should make it clean, it should not touch both zero or um, a neutral or phase. I left my glasses inside, so I'm sorry, it's going to take some extra time. Okay. Good. Now it's closed, like this, and the wire is, is uh, wrapped around here. We close it down. Close it down. Now we take the other side of it, and I uh, need more wire. Take those two that I pre prepared in advance. And now I'm taking them all together, twisting them all together so there will be good connection. If you want the best connection possible, and this is very important, if you want a good connection, you need to solder it. Okay? I don't have the time now to do it, I won't do it now. And now I'm using the tape in order to close it all together. It's very comfortable to do it if you're using the right colors. Let's trim this a bit. I mean, no, no wires poking out here, it's very important. This is it. Now I have made a ground connection that is on one side connected to the. Let's close it. Better close a little bit more. A ground connection that is on one side connected to the electric ground in my electric network, and on the other side to a BNC connection to my audio system. Now the same can be done again for USBs uh, and for network cable and for the VGA cable. Testing the effect on a laptop. The meter is an E-field board, upside down on the top of the laptop, measuring low E-field when USB ground is connected, measuring high E-field when USB ground is disconnected, reconnecting the USB ground, measuring low E-field when USB ground is connected, disconnecting the USB ground. Measuring high E field when USB ground is disconnected. Reconnecting the USB ground. Measuring low E field when USB ground is connected. Now for additional test from a different angle. Measuring high E field when USB ground is disconnected.
Reconnecting the USB ground. Measuring low E field when USB ground is connected. Disconnecting the USB ground. Measuring low E field when USB ground is connected. Please notice that when the hand is near the meter, the level goes up. This is a sign for ground issues, an extensive E field. Reconnecting the USB ground. Measuring low E field when USB ground is connected. And another sign for improvement is that when the hand is moving next and around the meter, it does not affect the measurement. Thanks for watching and see you next time.